Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to do a, a real, well, I hope a quick, quick video of some of the uh, tanks on the inside of the house and that aren't in my fish room. Uh, we're going to start here with my wild caught pair of dovi. That's mom there tweaking out. <clears throat> she likes to do that. And they probably have a good couple hundred fry in there too. Dad there, the last time I measured him, was pushing 18 inches. I think he's a little bit bigger than that now. I'd say he's probably close to, I'd say he's, he's, if I had to guess, closer to 20. Mom is right around 13. And the fry right now is about a half inch. She thinks the whole living room is her area. So anytime anybody comes in here, she starts tweaking. She'll even sit there and stare you down. And just keep shaking her head. And I'll sit there and shake my head back to her. It's like she does it back to me. We'll sit there and do that for about 10 minutes. Keeps me entertained too. <laughs> yeah, that's my big beautiful male. He is, uh, let's just say, far more peaceful than she is. He can get pretty aggressive himself, but uh, they both are actually very awesome wet pets. Even with the fry in there, they don't attack the hand when I uh, stick the fry food in there. Or when I get in there and clean the tank and uh, scrub the algae off the sides. Now well, my cat just popped up in the window, so uh, my male had to go over and investigate. So that there is my Dovali tank. Quick video. And we'll flip around to the other side of the living room and we'll go to the uh, 135 that uh, has some new occupants in it. It started off with my fest day for a few months. And... Uh, ended up selling them so now in here we've got some vieja and some parathraps and uh, about three lion's eye right there we have a couple of finistratus vieja senspilum There's one of the fins below it, right there. There's a lion's eye. The fins are a little torn up. I have one large male lion's eye that, uh, when it was in here by itself with the other two, before I put the viejas and the parathraps in here, he has put a little bit of a whooping on the uh, smaller two. So now that we have more occupants in here, the uh, large male lion's eye has uh, chilled out, shall we say. That over there. I believe that's another Fenestratus, or it could be my Bradori. I think it's another Fenestratus. Over in the corner is my big female Zonatum. She is the mom to all of the uh, babies and fry that I have right now. She is uh, probably about 8 inches. There's another lion's eye back there. That's the big male that was picking on the others. Next to him is uh, the Robert Sonai. Looks like he just got a mouthful of sand. One of the guys that uh, definitely keeps the 
sand clean in here. There are a gravel sifter. Do very well. And that is a Bredori. And there's the big daddy's own autumn. He's probably about 10, 11 inches right now. Everybody gets along well in here. It's been an actual very uh, pleasant, very peaceful tank. And the big zoos, I figure once they want to spawn again, they might be a little bit of an issue, but I think they do very well with the smaller fish because they don't feel threatened. give you an idea that lion's eye right there next to that big male is probably about five inches same with the fenestratus all of them are pushing probably about five inches five six so that big male may even be bigger than uh, the 10 11 inches and maybe closer to a foot well thank you all for uh, stopping by and checking out madness's videos Uh, some more up posted soon. Enjoy!